Oh, jeez. This might be a little too much weight for the skid steer here. Oh, yep. That's not going to work. All right. We're going to need to bring in some bigger machinery. But, guys, we are back at our island mansion. If you don't know the story, our last video we were here, we got gifted at the entire island. A stranger gave us the entire island and the mansion that goes with it. So, in this series, what we're going to do is we're going to be enjoying ourselves not only just that, but also exploring the rest of the island. So that's going to be the mission. And then also some other cool stuff. But today's mission, we are going to be building a mud pit in front of this mansion. I feel like every island needs some mud. And there is nothing around here. There is just all dried up sand, sandy roads, some lawn. You know, there's some grass over here, but there's not much mud. So I want mud on my island. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring over a nice big jug of water. And then we got some dirt pallets here. This should be the right amount of mixture to mix in, and it'll create a massive mud pit. But we got to clear out some trees, though, too. So we're going to take some trees out, and it's going to be my new front yard. So yeah, after we get the mixture perfect, I've got the entire formula. We're all set. I had a scientist, you know, uh, draw it up for me, and we're good to go. So we just got to mix it up. It'll create a bunch of mud. And yeah, so we got to go grab the equipment to help us. Like I said, the skids here, not getting the job done. So we're going to head on over to the port where they just delivered a brand new wheel loader which is a gigantic one and then a massive semi truck to haul the thing so yeah we're gonna go over there get them loaded up bring them on back all righty we've made it i can see some equipment it looks like we got a nice little tractor here i forgot we got one of these so yeah we've got a nice little garden tractor maybe a little bigger than the garden tractor and then we got massive water tank this is this is pretty nice should get the job done it's about a 200 gallon water tank so that should be good Here's the wheel loader I was talking about. Of course, the Caterpillar 998. What a beast. We got two fire extinguishers on the back just in case, you know, you want to be safe all the time. Some massive tires and Volvo semi truck. I love these semis. They sound amazing. They've got turbo charged diesel engines in them. So, you know, you can only imagine how it sounds when you get it going. So, all right, let's get into the wheel loader. We'll get this thing loaded up. The semi's warming up. We should be good. Keys. He said they're in the box. All right, let's open up the box. Perfect. All right, we got the keys. All right, first thing you gotta do, fire it up the key. There we go. Joystick one, lift up. Bucket is joystick two. Looks good. All right, we got those all set. And it's got articulating steering. So what that means is if you're going down the road, oh, part of it's kind of like cut off. It's kind of a weird system, but it's cool. Helps when you're turning into uh, tight spaces and all. Let's turn on our bacon lights to let everybody know we are going to be getting this thing loaded up. The width on the trailer is actually perfect. I'm uh, kind of surprised. I underestimated it because... Yeah, it's a triple axle trailer, so it's kind of small, but it'll get the job done. We're going right down the road, right there. Should be perfect. Let's set down the bucket, kill everything on this, and then we're good. We can strap it down a little bit. Let's see one there, one there. Let's see, you got to get one back here too. Perfect. All right, we got a bunch of straps on it. This thing is ready to roll. Let's get up the ramps, and then we got to come back for this little uh, little tractor here. So yeah, we'll do that. Let's get this semi on the road, man. If you guys are excited for today's mud pit video, make sure you drop a thumbs up. Also, subscribe down below if you haven't yet. We're going to bring over a ton of lifted trucks and all that other cool stuff. We're going to go mudding. We've got ATVs back at the property. So, yeah, it's going to get a lot of fun. And so is this turn. Okay, I'm pretty good at semi-maneuvering, but, yep, we got to back it into the corner. Oh, I think maybe I'm not. All right, there we go. I had to turn on the beacons. It helps us out. Wow, this is tight maneuvering here. I had to back it all the way in the corner. And then we're good to uh, pull out of here. But yeah, that is insane. One thing we need to do is clean up the shipyard too. There's a bunch of abandoned little vehicles over there. We should probably clean those up. Uh, make the place look a lot better for shipping and trading. Because we are our own island. So we do have our own natural resources and processing plants for like coal. So yeah, we can sell all that stuff, which is kind of neat. There we go. It's hanging around the corner. Try not to go on the sidewalk. And we're moving. This is sweet. I love going on island time. You don't have to really worry about the time here. You just you'd enjoy yourself, which is kind of cool. All right, now this is going to be the tricky part. So we have to back this down my driveway. Hopefully the width is uh, is good, but here we go. This is going to be tricky. Yo, Paul, guide me in there, man. All right, looks good. We just cleared the first cement post. Okay, I'm actually not bad at this. Here we go. Come on, power through. One of the wheels is caught. Come on, get around the corner. Looks good. We've got it. Once you get the first half in, it's pretty easy throughout there. And then you crank the semi around. Let's see, straighten it out real quick. Look at that. I'm actually a pro at this. And then you're good. You just bring the semi in and everything's set to go. All right, back it down the driveway. Here we go. We're almost to the end of the driveway. And right there looks good. Let's drop the ramps. Everything's in park. Let's get the straps undone on the big wheel loader. 
This thing is huge. And then we got to knock out some trees, which the wheel loader is going to be able to use. Uh, that's going to get the job done. So we'll be able to knock the trees out. We'll be able to use the wheel loader to lay some dirt. It's going to be pretty cool. It's like an all-in-one. And then, yeah, we'll have a giant mud pit in the front yard. And then we got to go get some new trucks. Uh, at the other end of the port, we got some lifted trucks. So we're going to pick those up. Three of them. We got a Ford, a GMC, and a Surprise. So I'll wait to show you guys that. But it's going to be pretty cool. Let's get to work on this mud build. All right, about three hours later, this is the finished product, and I think it turned out great. We got a ton of different mud spots, a giant mud pit here, and then it leads on to the mud trails. So the mud trails lead about half a mile down the road. Pretty sweet. You got a lot of mud that goes on the trails. You just do a little U-turn down there, circle back around, and head back to the mud pit. I think it was a huge success. I think it was worth it to bring it to the island since there's no mud. So yeah, we're going to go get some lifted trucks, bring them on over, and go mudding. So that's the plan. I got a GMC, a Ford, and a mystery vehicle. So I'll see you guys once we're there. Alrighty, guys. We are heading out to go pick up the trucks. There are three trucks sitting down at the dock, and they're pretty sweet. They're fully customized. We are taking a completely wrong detour here. Oh, hold on. This might actually work. There we go. We eventually made it back on the road. But yeah, we're going to pick them up with the semi. Why not make use of it? And here they are. We've got a Ford F-150 Raptor, a GMC, and here's our mystery vehicle, the TLX 3500 with a massive mud swampers on it. So yeah, this is probably the best performing truck of them all. And yeah, it's going to be pretty cool. Let's get them loaded up. Let's get the ramps down. First, let's start with the GMC. It's got a turbo diesel engine, the Duramax, which is a great engine package. Just should help power it through the mud i'm not sure uh you know how far i'll make it because the tire traction but this should be enough power all right we'll back it all the way on to the front step here right there perfect okay all right we should be able to get another one on here i don't know about the third but yeah this looks good this raptor is looking sweet we got it fully customized with a winch two recovery hooks extra headlights or fog lamps and yeah it's sweet we got exhaust pipes are customized it's got a lot of extra options on it matte black wrap which is awesome. Sorry, right, we're not going to be able to get that third wealth to come back for our TLX here. All righty, we'll meet you back at the property when all the trucks are back and we're ready to do some muddy. And we're back. The garage is going to be full tonight. We got to get all these trucks inside. And then also, if you haven't seen, we've got some other ATVs in here. We're going to open up the garage. We can bring them out. We got a Can Am Renegade, a 6x6 Outlander, and of course, a Polaris Razor. So yeah, we got a lot of fun to do. Let's hop in our mystery vehicle, the TLX, and see what this thing does. I know it's going to be great, just judging from the tires, the suspension. This thing is fully kitted out. All right, here we go. Send it. Oh, no. We're already getting stuck. We made this as tricky as possible, but this is actually going pretty well. We're bogging down a little bit in the mud. You can see that when the tires start to sink into the mud, that's not good. There we go. We're going to get on the trail. We are full pedal to the metal right now, if you guys didn't know. So this is actually kind of difficult, which is good. That's what we want. We want some struggle. That's what makes the mudding part fun. But there we go. We made it through. Full U-turn. And the whole purpose of the U-turn is to slow you down the speed. And then you're going to get stuck on the way back most likely. Because look, we're doing two miles an hour. Keep going a little more. Looks good. Come on, we're wide open right now. And then you hit the rough part where the mud's at. And then you get stuck. Oh no, we're getting stuck. Come on. All right. Come on, just a little bit more. Oh, you can see it's starting to sink down. I think we're done. Oh, we made it through. Oh, there we go. We powered it through towards the end there, but that's how the TLX did. That went pretty well. Next up, the Ford F-150 Raptor. I already know this thing's going to do good. Look at that. Power right through it, man. All right, let's pull some donuts. Oh, maybe not. Maybe the uh, height of the vehicle definitely plays a role in it. There we go. The mud is just going right through this thing like a beast. Let's get on the trail. Go down the trail for a minute. Power through. We got the twin turbo V6 package. So this is plenty of horsepower. We're in four low right now. Powering through a little more. Come on. All right, we made it through. Good. Now the tricky part. Once we get towards the end of the mud pit, we're going to lose a lot of traction. Oh, oh, we might have lost it. We might have lost it. Come on, power through, man. There we go. There we go. We lost it. We lost it. Come on. A little more. Oh, the tires are spinning. This is not good. Check it out. The tires are spinning, man. This is not good. There we go. Come on. Rock it back and forth. All right. Oh. Oh, we're getting some traction. There we go. There we go. Get the front tires on. We made it out. Perfect. Looks like we might need some air pressure, though. These things are kind of low. All right, next up, the GMC. This is probably going to be the worst of them all. We've got the thinnest amount of tires here. Come on. Power through, man. Oh, oh, the diesel, man. It's going. This thing's insane. Look at it go. 
We're plowing through the mud like nothing. Oh, there we go. Spin out. Let's power back through. That's actually pretty sweet. The mud was flying everywhere. Here we go. That's a lot of power underneath that hood. Oh, look. You can't even see. All right. Spin it around. Do some donuts in here. Oh, this thing's a beast, man. Send it. Oh, okay. I think that's where we call it. Well, I'll have to get a tow truck out here. But guys, I hope you enjoyed today's mud pit video. You know, this is kind of cool. Customizing our own mud pit in front of our mansion. We're going to call it the Mudding Mansion. So if you want to see more and maybe expand the mansion, maybe build some more mud down there, drop a thumbs up, subscribe below, and also comment your favorite part. Thanks guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.